We're just catching up with Kiko Stilwell, the director of the Mata de Duque Spring Tour here in Portugal. And it's the end of the first international. Uh, we have about 10 days and we have another one, which um, he's also running very, very well with the national classes in between. Kiko, you've done an amazing job on this property. Um, I was here a couple of years ago and there was an awful lot of scrub and bushes and... God, it's like a proper international course you've set up here in a matter of months. How on earth did you manage all this work? Well, it's not, it's not a work that is for a couple of months. We, we unfortunately don't have Barocca anymore. And that was a big mark for Portugal, Portuguese eventing and for Europe. And we had to, to recover some other, other places. And the first place was here at Mato de Duque two years ago. And um, we improved everything on national till we get to, to a place that we were comfortable to run, to run an international. We did it in September, a test event. We knew it was just most of the riders would be Spanish. So to, to see if we were capable of, of running it. Uh, everything went well. Uh, of course, we needed to improve some stuff and you always have to improve. And this one from this week to the, the other one, we want to improve even, even, even every things that we, we have to do it and, and to make it better every year. Uh, we, we unfortunately didn't have the, the many riders we wish. I hope, I hope to next year have more, more riders. And I think riders are now jealous at home seeing us in the sun with amazing facilities, amazing ground. Um, and, um, and it is this what, what we try to do. It's a big, it's not a very big team. Uh, we have the DNRs, the Guarda Nacional Republicana, that work a lot with us and help us a lot here. Without them, this wouldn't be possible to help the Portuguese Eventing Association. And me and Augusto and other, other, other enthusiasts here in Portugal try to make it uh, eventing big again. So we will try our best. <laughs> well, certainly the grass arenas here that we're sitting in the middle, the going is beautiful on those, like you couldn't ask, it's world-class surface. And the cross-country surface was level, it's sandy, there's nice give in it. Um, it's absolutely brilliant surface for anyone to ride on. Yeah, we are very lucky to have these facilities and to have this ground here at Mato de Duque. It's very, very similar to Barocca. Uh, I think it's a little bit better uh, because um, it's, it has some difference in, in, in the track. And all this was built uh, 22 years ago, and they spent a lot of money building tracks and drainage on all tracks. So we are very lucky to have this place and to be secure that we can run even with a lot of rain or, or with sun. There is no problem to run here, it never gets hard, never gets too soft. They, they, they have really good facilities in and, and we hope to, to, to improve the little things we have. But for me, it's one of the best goings in Europe, probably. Uh, I, I'm a rider and I've been in many, many places. And for me, we are very lucky to Portugal has really good, good grounds, not just here at Matas Duque, but Barocca, Valsa Brozo even has a good ground, but a little bit different. Uh, we are lucky enough for that. Well, we've had a fabulous week of competition. Horses have traveled far and wide to come to this, and uh, we're looking forward to the next one in well, it's about 10 days' time we start again, yeah. and uh, we're really looking forward to the four-star on that. Yeah, the track looks fantastic. Yeah, and we wait for, for riders. We still accept entries if, if some people are bored in the rain in north of Europe and want to travel down. We can accept your entries and come over. It's Fabulous. 10 days from the event. Brilliant. <laughs> Thank, <laughs> Thank you very you. much, Kiko. Thank you very well much. done.